welcome back guys in this video we are going to start clean and look at how to use live wire in an application with real life examples so we are going to create an event application which will allow us to as admins create events and as end users i would be able to register to those events and the admin would be able to see how many users have registered so this app is going to cover basic kinds of cruds and that will help us understand the different aspects of livewire and we will see how we can actually you know use it in a production kind of an app environment so without wasting time let's just get started so i have a clean laravel instance here and we will start with installing livewire so let's go to the documentation and i'll use this command to install livewire on this instance and while this is happening we will also use the laravel ui right to do the bootstrapping for our application okay let's go to the documentation so I mean, while laravel does not dictate which javascript in this basic starting points using bootstrap so let's see what all you know, presets we have and what we can use where are the presets so i have php artisan ui bootstrap with auth right so this is something which i would ideally like to do and for that i'll need the laravel ui package so once this is done we will install the laravel ui package as well all right this is done let's install this and we will wait till this is done okay so this laravel ui package is also installed so now what i can do is php artisan make auth or is it auth make let me see um okay no the thing has changed right i keep forgetting it so i'll need to run this command and what will happen is it will give me the uh, scaffolding i need to run npm install and while that's that is happening let's look at what we have so inside views i have this home blade which is fine uh, login register and verify these blade files are added and in here we have our app routes and all those stuff i'll just remove this and As far as I remember, there was a route, PHP route, sorry, PHP artisan route list. I should have a login route somewhere. Okay. Yes. Uh, so this is slash login, right? So is there a name to it? Let me reduce it a bit. Okay it's login fine so i can use that so return redirect route login okay okay it's indexing so while this is happening let's look at a few things so if i refresh i'm directly taken to the login route yes this is gonna happen because um, you know the new auth package doesn't come with the basic javascript and css compiled so you need to compile it so what we will do is in here i'll have node watch running and once that is done okay it 
will add these packages but we don't really need them so you can ignore anything which is related to, to view and we have this scap folding in place now obviously I would need a database so I'll use SQLite for this touch database dot database dot SQLite okay and inside my env what i will do is just remove this have sklite reload my app once and in here inside database seeds i have this right so why don't we create one dummy user for us to get started so name okay with this done I can do PHP artisan migrate refresh seed throughout the series I'll be running this command and I have a shortcut for this which is MRS so you know if you come across it do remember MRS is migrate refresh and seed okay so with this done let's open up our tinker and see whether we have that user or not obviously we would so now this means I can log in to this application right so so far we even not change anything the basic scaffolding is done what I would like to do is give the user an ability to add an event so we will start with you know uh, add event form inside our application so php artisan make live wire and let's just say event add form okay and this is fine let's see i have this form class component class and where is the resource views live wire this right so this is done this is the you know blank form which we have and we would ideally need a page as well but before that what i would like to do is if you if you see the documentation right it says if we need an spa kind of a you know uh, application we need to install turbo links and that's something which we are going to do before we actually start the development okay what turbo links does is it's you know kind of it responds back you know with html you know when when you make a request to the server so it you know instead of json's it will give you html but it will very uh, in, in a very smart way it will only um, and replace the body tag and if there are any new javascript requirements it will add them and it does that diff smart uh, in a very smart way so what happens is you know your page doesn't reload the assets which have been already there you know those things are maintained and you get all the how do you say the histories and everything in place without you know um, requiring to do any kind of additional coding so yes i mean it's a nice and you know uh, easy way to handle you know uh, things and that's what we are trying to do so npm installed and save turbo links so i can just do npm i turbo links and what they are saying is i just need to do require and then turbo link starts so fine i'll go inside the javascript file app.js have this so bootstrapping bootstrapping is done so why don't we either we can do it inside the bootstrap file or we can do it here i mean it's kind of the same so just need to execute it okay this is done yeah and i hope we are not not having any errors in our console no we don't right so 
yeah now let's create a page so i have i'll have a pages folder and inside that let's have event add page dot blade dot php i don't want to add it right now anyway so now extends layouts dot app section is content okay so what i am trying to do here is just render this form okay and in here i will just return some output so that we know what are we trying to do uh, this is fine i'll just pick a little bit of this add it over here i don't need this and this is dashboard i'll say add new event okay so we will get a new uh, panel where i will have add event and inside not inside home actually inside my layouts app.blade right where i have this navigation i'll just add a link somewhere or maybe now for now you are logged in and let's have add a new event and i'll just have uh, it linked here so we'll create a route our route name will be event dot add okay we don't have that yet so we'll do that I'll create a route group middleware auth in here I'll just pick up a few things so let's just say we are creating a page for event slash add we don't have an event controller right so why don't we generate a few things make model uh, models slash event i need the migration factory and controller okay so now i should have an event controller and inside that let's have the add method which we will use to show the form so in here i'll have add return view pages dot event add page okay and if we now try to refresh so yes you can see what has happened is uh, let me clear out everything hit refresh so this is the initial load of things i will do preserve log so that you know you know I'll just clean it, um, clean it out, hit refresh, and we have all these assets loaded, right? And then once I click on event, you can see this add thing was sent back. It has an entire HTML markup, but if you look at it closely, it doesn't reload the page, right? What it basically does is it takes this markup and does a diff and add things wherever it is required so the page doesn't reload so we have a you know kind of an spa feel to it that's uh, that's a, a good thing and 
you know, we can start the development on this particular thing. The form is being rendered through our live wire component, right? So this is also fine. The only thing which I am a little worried about is the thing looks a little weird because okay this is container i think i need to put everything inside a container otherwise it will have a problem this is fine you know, this is a full width thing which is which should not be a problem for me but app dot blade dot php in here this is main class and we are not using any container this is a container right okay let me just quickly look at the you know markup just give me a second so nav is an entire width thing and then inside that i have a nav um, container so that's why it is you know inside that width which is fine um and then i have main whereas when i go here i have body app this is fine inside that i have the container i'll just put it inside a container again so you know things are properly uh, are done okay yeah so this is this is fine i, I am happy with this so yeah i think in the next video we will start working on our form but you know this is how i have set up our laravel live wire application which is you know behaving like an spa without actually writing an api code i have you know previously created a small little app in um, you know using the same uh, turbo links thing However, you know, it was um, with a different technology, but you can still look at that um, series to see in details how, you know, uh, TurboLinks work with Vue.js if you want to. I have, you know, linked the series in the description below and you can see it in the top section on this video as well. Anyway, so yeah, that, that's how I have done the setup. In the future videos we will start working on the requirements if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel